One of the things that comes up pretty often in an office visit is smoking cessation. Uh, we do ask all patients when they're establishing care and during every office visit about smoking. Not often do patients come in for the sole purpose of talking about smoking cessation, although it does happen. But more often it comes up um, during chronic conditions and discussing uh, ways to become healthier, whether somebody has COPD, hypertension, or it's really just during an annual physical. So smoking and tobacco is linked to, to multiple health conditions and it really can um, lead down a path of lung cancer, of um, difficulty breathing, COPD, um, and it can lead to an earlier death. A lot of people think that they've really kind of done everything to exhaust their um, options for quitting smoking and there's certainly behavioral techniques that we use and there's also uh, medications that we can use and talking with patients and, and taking the time whether it's just five minutes during an office visit there are multiple ways that patients really have not thought of to, to help in uh, quitting smoking and being successful with that. I would never want a patient to really feel embarrassed that they uh, were not successful with quitting. Um, sometimes it does take two or three times to really uh, be successful and to quit. Nicotine withdrawal really peaks in about three days and um, is done in about three to four weeks. And so if they've restarted smoking six months after they've stopped, then there's other kind of links and triggers to smoking that maybe they're not aware of. Uh, some people it's alcohol, some people it's their morning coffee, for some people it is just a routine, they always have a cigarette after they get off work um, or with a certain friend and so they've restarted for that reason and trying to talk with them about what those triggers are will help them be more successful the second or third time that they, that they quit. A lot of patients will tell me that they have smoked for 20 years or 10 years, sometimes 50 years, and that there's really, you know, they think there's not a point in quitting at, at this time, that the, the damage has already been done. Um, and I really discourage that thought that there's always improvement that can be made at any time when they quit smoking. And often what I will recommend is um, a support network, of course, rallying their friends and their family, making sure that if their husband smokes that they can gather support from home. But also some patients really find su success with talking with a counselor too and really kind of delving deeper into the issues of, of why they're continuing to smoke and what kind of barriers they have. So I hope that patients will come to me and they'll talk with me about smoking cessation and we can always keep the conversation open and continue to meet their goals.